Right, hello there everybody. Basically, I'm going to be recording a couple of videos after this one. So roughly there's going to be about three videos that I've recorded. And I will upload them as and when. This is basically um, a video that I'm doing at night. Because a lot of times I don't do videos at this time of night. And the time is roughly 1.31am. And usually I do my videos, um, well long before this, you know, in the daytime or whatever. But anyway, um basically I had somebody on YouTube uh message well comment on some uh video that I did and I basically commented back or we were back or forward on comments and he's a shaky fan and he said to me about doing a video on Shaky Stevens. Pretty much about the Epic Masters box set which I do actually own I just want to make that clear to anybody because I know some people might say that I don't own it but I very much do. And I haven't done a review on this because I don't normally do reviews on CDs although I should do. And I want to basically say that um, I'm going to do um, basically some reviews on this. I have some pretty um, pretty good opinions on things and various other um box sets that I could possibly do but it's a, it's a nice box set for any shaky fan anybody who's basically a shaky fan it's a nice box set because you've got you've got a little booklet in there which gives you details and various bits and pieces um, about the various albums and things that he did and then there is a lovely um, cardboard sleeve which goes in with the Shaking Stevens um, a CD. It's got um, some pictures of some of his re um, singles, basically there. Nice little cardboard thing. It tells you pretty much about the um, people who played on the album and certain so forth. The only downside I would say about this box set is I would have liked it to have been individual CDs. Partly because I prefer individual CDs. They could have done it over a period of say a year, where ever so often a CD would come out like the Take One album and the idea would have been simply just to have a double CD where you could have had extra songs I know it's got bonus tracks on it but if there is enough music to have demos and live tracks and 12 inch versions and things like that they could have probably put everything Shaky's ever recorded onto a CD and made it into basically a double disc they could have had like this one could have been simply the 12 tracks for the original album and then on say disc 2 you had all the bonus stuff relating to that album and any other things that they could have had but I suppose Shaky and his team did it how they wanted to do it but yeah it's a nice box set and I love it obviously being a Shaky man but I just said that my view of that they could have done it released released it basically as um, a single disc or or in, or in other words double disc and they wouldn't have had to do it in a box set because buying box sets like this does cost a little bit. I know I know it's not as much as you think, but it is a costing thing because you've got to buy it and you know if they say something like, Oh, it's gonna cost you sixty pounds to get this box you think, Oh sixty pounds just for that. Well you can buy C D on a separate scale. But that's their way of doing it, that's my own view. I'm just saying that's what I would like to have seen. They wouldn't have had to release like the Christmas album again. Or they could, or if they wanted to, they could have done it and have any bonus tracks that they could fit on that CD, like the 12-inch version of America for everybody and so on. I'm just saying that's what they, that's what they could have done. I would have liked that because you could have thought about anything that's un unreleased and they could have put it onto basically that particular thing because there is nothing on this box set like the I Can Help or anything like that, which um, is a bit sad because that would have been a song that could have been done and various other things but I suppose in a way it's the way they do it but that's just my own view anyway so um, keep watching my videos because I've got a couple of more to come up very very soon